This is a 2005 Cirrus SR20. I recently had the Forward Vision EVS100 installed on this airplane, the FLIR or forward-looking infrared system. This enhanced vision system brings the very same technology found on business jets to the rest of general aviation. The capabilities and added safety of being able to look out eight to 10 times farther than the naked eye are nothing short of astounding. I now use the EVS100 always. It's changed the way I fly. Now I felt compelled to share this technology, so I chose a beautiful, moonless, pitch black night to do so in Anchorage, Alaska. Interestingly, it was the middle of May, so I had to wait till after midnight for the sun to go down. Here we are taxiing out past Lake Hood to Anchorage International. Note the heat signature emanating from the buildings in the distance. The taxiways, for example, are completely dark, but the center lines show up because they hold heat differently than the pavement. Here we are, take off at Anchorage International. Notice how the infrared camera allows me to see well down the runway, far beyond the normal field of vision at night. While this is an international runway and fenced, most of us take off from runways that are subject to the occasional wanderings of uninvited guests, the four-legged kind. You do the math. We headed across Cook Inlet towards the Matsu Valley. Now this is farmland, virtually uninhabited and as dark as the inside of a cow. But with the EVS 100, trees, lakes, and even power lines are easily visible. And remember that you'd see the same feature through smoke or haze during the daytime too. But right now, it's pretty dark. As a point of reference, the white that you see is warmer. The black is colder. So the big black portions out there are not a beautiful flat place to land, but rather a lake. Okay, fast forward, heading back across Cook Inlet over downtown Anchorage for an approach into Merrill Field. Merrill's an uncontrolled airport after midnight. Returning here base for 2-5, and note the Chugach Mountains in the distance, about eight miles out, pretty compelling. We're coming over the fence here for 2-5, I have the runway lights on low. And touchdown at Merrill. Okay, here we are. Taxi back, past the tower. Assorted hangars. and then take off back out of Merrill Field off of 2-5. Out over downtown, and then out over the port of Anchorage, over the docks, headed back across Cook Inlet for an ILS back into Anchorage International. Here you can clearly see where the big Susitna River enters Cook Inlet. Caught a lot of salmon down there. And our approach into Anchorage International. Touchdown and a long high speed taxi back to Lake Hood. Here you can see parked aircraft in the distance, big ones. We need to actually cross a road here to get back to parking, hence the cars you see in the distance. The definition on this EVS screen is quite remarkable. An entire night flight safely done without any need for visible light. Now that's pretty cool. And here we are safely back at the hangar. Forward Vision's EVS 100 is technology you just can't afford to do without. Blue skies and safe landings.